The car of the future is here. Combining the power of Featherlight Hover Technology and Radius Thrust, the DRF 1600 Extreme Edition, nicknamed the Hover Speeder, is ready to conquer the skies, featuring a pilot auto detection system. Jump right in and the system powers up automatically. Featherlight Hover Technology Making use of the same technology used in the International Space Station, the Hover Speeder is an easy and intuitive vehicle to control, complete with automatic altitude adjustment. And for those that like a little bit more control, the DRF 1600 offers manual altitude control. Manually increase or decrease the vehicle's altitude with the buttons 1 and 2 available in the pilot seat. The Hover Speedster is equipped with a Radius Thrust Engine, the largest of the spherical engines on the market, capable of generating enough power to drive the vehicle and powering the Featherlight Hover Systems. We are breaking the laws of physics with this much power. And we've managed to fit all this in a modern design that others will quickly recognize as the dominant force in the sky. Now you might be thinking to yourself, how much does a vehicle like this cost? Surely I cannot afford something like this in my lifetime. But we've set a new record with the low low price of hitting that like button, subscribing, and favoriting on the Steam Workshop. We also offer a free lifetime warranty for Discord memberships. The DRF 1600 Extreme is yours for the taking. Get ready for the ride of your life. How's it going guys? So in case you don't know, this is the finished build from the past couple of live streams that I did where I built the car of the future. I tried to make a couple of car commercials for the build just to do something a little different. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy them and I hope that you guys enjoy the hover speedster as well. Of course, let me know what you think down in the comments below. I probably won't do too many videos like this just because it's more work for me to edit them than I usually do, and it's also kind of cringy when I try to make videos like this, and that's because I'm dead on the inside. But I'm still curious which of the car commercials you liked best, the first or the second, and of course what you thought of the build itself. So let me know in the comments down below. But that's really all I have for you guys today. Thank you all for your continued support, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!